Hi everyone, welcome back to Besame. Have you ever wondered how the term Trojan horse came about as it relates to malicious software on your computer? Well, today I will be reading you the story called The Wooden Horse. It will tell you how that term came about. The Wooden Horse. Hundreds of years ago, there was a war between the Greek people and the Trojan people. A Trojan prince had taken away the wife of a Greek king. Her name was Helen, and she was the most beautiful woman in the world. The Greeks had been fighting for many years to get Helen back. The war took place outside the city of Troy, where the Trojans lived. The Greeks were far from their country. They had to live on their ships and on the beaches. They had to bury their dead in a strange land. The city of Troy had high, strong walls around it with big, strong gates. In the daytime, the Trojan soldiers would come out and fight the Greeks. At night, they went back into the city and shut the big gates. The women and children stayed inside the city all the time. The Greek soldiers were now tired of the war. They wanted to bring the fighting to an end and go back home to their families. But the war looked as if it would never end. Every day more of them died and had to be buried in a strange land. Then their captain, Ulysses, had an idea. He called his men together and set them to build a giant wooden horse. The inside of the horse was to be hollow and it would be used to trick the Trojans. For many days there was no fighting as the horse was built. The Trojan people watched from their city wall. They wondered what was going on. But they, too, were glad for a break in the fighting. At last, the wooden horse was ready. Then the Greeks began to put their things together and fix up their ships to go home. The Trojans were full of joy as they watched them. But when it was dark, Ulysses and some of his bravest soldiers squeezed themselves into the hollow horse. Next morning, the Greek ships pretended to sail away. They left behind the wooden horse with Ulysses and his men inside. They also left one of Ulysses' best loved slaves. He did not go inside the horse, but went to hide on the beach. He had an important job. He was to make sure that the Trojans pulled the horse into the city. The Trojans were overcome with joy as they watched the Greek ships sail away. When the ships were far enough away, all the people rushed out of the city onto the beach. It was many years since they had been able to come out of the city gates. Some of them only wanted to walk on the beach, but most of them went to look at the strange giant horse. As they were looking, a man called out, All the Greeks are not gone. Here comes one of them now. The man had seen Ulysses' slave coming. Some of the Trojans pulled their swords, but because he was only a slave, they did not trouble him. He pretended that he was glad the Greeks had gone. I hate them, he said. They are terrible people. I hope they will all die in a storm on the way home. But what is this horse? the Trojans asked. They made it for their god of the sea, the slave replied. They made it so that the sea god would be kind to their ships on the way home. Maybe if you took it away, the god would be angry with them and turn against them. The Trojans laughed when they heard this. Let us take it into the city, they shouted. Their god will turn against them because they were not careful enough. And they started to pull the horse to the city gate. But one of their wise old men rushed up and tried to stop them. Be careful, he said. You do not know what you are doing. He hit the side of the horse with his sword. See, this horse is hollow. You do not know what is in it. Leave it alone. But the Trojans would not pay him any mind. The horse cannot trouble us, they said. Dancing and singing, they pulled it up to the city gate. Ulysses' slave followed them. The wise old man turned sadly away and walked down to the sea. As he did this, two terrible sea snakes came up out of the sea. They fastened themselves around him and squeezed him 
till he was dead. The people were amazed and frightened. The sea god is angry because he hit the horse with his sword, they said. The god will be pleased with us if we take care of the horse. So the Trojans pulled the wooden horse into the city with great care. Ulysses' slave helped them. That night, there was much singing and dancing around the horse until late. Then at last, the Trojans went to bed, tired but happy. Ulysses' slave was given a bed to sleep in. He pretended to be asleep. For a time, all was still. Then Ulysses' slave slipped quietly out of the house where he was staying. In the dead of night, he opened a secret door in the giant horse. Ulysses and his men squeezed out of the door and went quietly to the big gate of the city. By this time, the Greek ships had secretly come back to the beach. Now all the Greek soldiers were waiting outside the big gate. Without a sound, Ulysses opened the gate and they quietly came in. Then the Greeks moved quickly through the city, burning and killing. The Trojans were taken by surprise. Before they knew what was happening, the Greeks had taken over their city. When morning came, Troy had been burned to the ground. Then the Greeks sailed away to their homeland, taking Helen with them. The end. So that is the story of how the Trojan horse that you know are malicious viruses that pose as legitimate software on your computer got its name. Hopefully you enjoyed the story. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button below and hit the red subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.